Shine is shining out there, Rachel, and looks like it will be at least for the first half of the weekend. It definitely will. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be another beautiful day. I mean, if you didn't know any better, you would have no idea that it's February outside. It is so nice, and the plants are confused, too, because we are getting some budding plants. I had a picture sent into my Facebook page of a flower that has poked through some of the dead grass out there already, so the warm temperature is kind of making for some interesting conditions. We are tracking high levels of tree pollen out there, so if you have been particularly sneezy and wheezy lately, that could be why. Temperatures tonight will be dropping into the 20s and 30s, so if you will be out late tonight, maybe you're going on an early morning hike tomorrow. It's going to be clear and dry, but it is also going to be chilly, so make sure that you grab a jacket early tomorrow morning. You will not need it, though. Tomorrow afternoon, have a look at those temperatures. It's going to be even warmer out there tomorrow than it was today. We're hitting a high temperature of 65 in Colorado Springs, 69 in Pueblo, with temperatures in the 60s all across the plains. The only exception, Burlington, where we may have a bit of cool air still hanging out across the far eastern, northeastern corner and up across the mountains. Temperatures in the 30s and 40s. A beautiful day to Spend some time outside, maybe with your sweetheart celebrating Valentine's Day. Temperatures tomorrow are going to be warm because we have so much sunshine, at least for the first half of the day. But then through the afternoon, the clouds are going to begin to roll in. So we'll have a bit of cloud cover to contend with, especially during the late afternoon through the evening. But other than that, it should be a very nice and quiet day. Wind speeds ranging from 5 to 10 miles per hour. I want to take you right into your seven day forecast because Sunday, not looking quite as nice as it will be out there tomorrow. We're dropping the high temperature to 46 degrees, so you'll notice the cooler temperatures in place. We also have a very slight chance that late on Sunday could get a sprinkle or two, primarily up across the Palmer Divide. We'll keep a very close eye on that. At this point, though, it's looking like the better chance for snow arrives early on Monday, likely after the morning drive. But throughout the day on Monday, we're going to see deteriorating road conditions. By Monday evening, it could get very slick. And check out that high temperature 32 degrees. We're staying in the 30s on Tuesday. So much colder for the start of the work week. We'll warm back up though by next Thursday, Friday, right back in the 50s. In Pueblo, 69 degrees tomorrow, 49 on Sunday with temperatures. Then in the 30s on Monday, 36 degrees Tuesday with temperatures warming back up. So this storm system is a pretty quick mover. It's in and out by the middle of the work week. Canyon City, 66 degrees tomorrow, 50 on Sunday with a 40% chance for snow on Monday. Monday, quite frankly, not looking like a very nice day, but we'll make up for it Thursday, Friday. We're back in the mid to upper 50s and in Teller County, 55 degrees tomorrow, 55 for your Valentine's Day. Hopefully you're able to spend some time outside. 42 degrees on Sunday, then 28 on Monday and Monday night, temperatures in the single digits. It looks like we will see some accumulating snow with this storm system. Too early to determine just how much right now. But that is something that we'll be monitoring very closely here through the weekend. So stick with Caradio News Channel 13, and obviously we'll keep you ahead of the storm. Coming up in the next half hour, we'll use SkyCast to let you know just when we could maybe see a shower late on Sunday. And even with the cold, it looks like it warms right back up after a couple of days. It so. does. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of been the trend this winter. We get these storms that move in and out within 24 hours, which, you know, brings us a little bit of moisture, which is greatly needed. One day of cold, I think that we can handle it. Well, so, I guess technically two so days. So Monday morning, the troublesome road.